I think the more you see how long it takes for someone to grow something and how much art and love and maintenance and blood, sweat and tears that goes into something that's being grown, the more you don't want to mess with it too much. My name is Brendan McHale, uh, chef co-owner of the Eddie, and we're in the Catskills at Buried Treasures Farm with Franca. And today we're going to be grilling uh, some Arctic char, roasting oysters, and we're going to be pulling up some fresh sunchokes and uh, also doing a little bit of fly fishing. I've been fishing since I was 15. When I, when I first moved to New York about 11 years ago, um, really kind of took on experiencing a lot of the upstate fishing and getting to know some of our local farmers and coming up here and fishing, hanging out. 30 years, this is my 30th season. I started nothing with just a few strawberries and here we are. I wasn't blessed with children, but I was blessed with the finest chefs of the world. From Boulay to Telepan to Blue Hill to the Eddy. Come let me feed you. Franca's sunchokes are like just incredibly flavorful, versatile. I mean, we, we like kind of roasting them and then frying them right now we're doing. It's delicious just by itself, a little bit of salt. And the buds, which we braised and we're putting on the dish as well. First we did some of her array of different like fingerlings and we wrapped them up in tin foil with a little bit of duck fat. So we wrapped those up and then throw them in the coals that we kind of raked out from the fire and cooked them slow and low for about an hour, hour and a half. We did not catch any uh, fish today yet, <laughs> but for the, we didn't catch the fish that we grilled unfortunately today, but uh, we, we used this beautiful, lovely whole arctic char that we got. Salt and pepper, a little bit of acid, like today we did the, the chamomile vinegar uh, from Franca's farm here. And then we shucked some really beautiful barnstable oysters and cooked those over the fire. We had like a little bit of um, wine, cream, pickled chili, herbs, all that good stuff, almost like a bromante. And uh, just poured a touch of that over the oyster, a little bit of chamomile vinegar. The best part of being up here is it's kind of like a pause button from, from the city and from a restaurant. The river has a lot of um, history behind it and that's where we actually named the eddy um, which is kind of a, a calm moment surrounded by chaos in a river and when you come up here it's um, it's a little bit of a moment of uh, kind of recollecting where you've been and where you're going um, but thinking more simplistically about things. <laughs> 